Some patterns require a lot of flying geese units. Today I'm going to show you a construction method that makes four at a time. To make four flying geese at a time, you're going to need one large square in the main color fabric and four small squares in the accent color fabric. To finish at three inches by six inches, the large square should be seven and a quarter inches square and the small squares should be three and seven eighths inches square. On the wrong side of each of the small squares, mark a diagonal line. Take the large square and align two of the smaller squares in opposite corners, making sure that the marked lines go in the same direction. Pin to hold in place right sides together. Stitch a quarter inch away from the marked line on both sides of the line. Cut on the line to make two pieces and then fold back the small triangles and press. Once it has been pressed, take another of the small squares and align to the corner of the piece. Stitch a quarter inch seam on either side of the marked line. After stitching, Cut on the line and then gently fold back and press. There are your flying geese unit just the right size. Repeat with the other piece to make two more flying geese. What's so good about this method of flying geese? It's easy construction once you learn the steps. You only cut squares which is easy to do accurately. It makes four at a time, which is convenient since most patterns use multiples of four. There are some things that are not good. Marking all the lines is time consuming. The math can be tricky if you're doing an unusual size. So when should you use this method? If you need a lot of flying geese, it's very efficient. And if you're making standard sizes, measurements are easily available. I give this method four out of five thimbles. For more tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, check out ebitastudio.com.